Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the report from Tiger Mountain. Um, uh, recording a few uh, new shows uh, here to um, discuss uh, topics of the day and issues of, of the new right. Um, so enjoy the show. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, um, welcome to the uh, report. And behind me is an image of the Library of Alexandria, um, whose destruction um, in late antiquity uh, represents one of the greatest tragedies that has ever happened to humanity, um, where we lost, um, you know, I mean, I think there was something like, you know, a hundred works by Euripides and people like Aeschylus and uh, Sophocles and stuff, and, you know, so much um, lost knowledge. And I think one of the reasons I like to use this image here today is because I think we stand at a very similar point in Western civilization, where our civilization is under attack. Today, uh, on this particular report, I'm going to talk about, um, you know, uh, I recently have discussed in an essay, and you can find it on the Unshackled, an idea called elite replacement theory, um, which is, I think, a, a way that the new right, and I think the way that um, our nations are fighting back against this um, attack that Western nations and the West itself um, seems to be under, um, that we have an elite that uh, is, uh, you know, does not have our interests at heart. And um, one thing we can do is begin to find people, uh, there are people in our countries who are in high positions of power who actually do love our countries, who actually still are nationalists and patriots. They don't have to be radically so, they, are, you know, they can just be mildly so to wish to save the great um, um, countries and the great um, lifestyles that we enjoy here in the West. So, um, you know, I think what we're seeing, you know, with people like Trump and things like Brexit and stuff is a desire to, um, you know, move a few people out who don't have our interest at, at heart and move a few people in who might, you know, actually, have, you know, actually try and take care of, of the local populations and the local peoples. So, um, you know, but I wanted to talk about what is it reacting against? Why is something like elite replacement theory needed and why is all this kind of nonsense been going on? Um, I, I, I found, you know, a lot of the tactics of uh, the new left and, you know, for example, recently this week, you know, they tried to deplatform um, Melbourne Cup Day. I don't know why. Like, um, you know, out of nowhere, suddenly that became the number one issue for all leftists, you know, because I do have a number of them who are still my friends on Facebook. Uh, horse racing became, oh, my God, it's terrible. It's like they hurt these poor horses. We've got to cancel Australia Cup Day. It's like, when did this suddenly become a huge issue for them? Because, you know, the month before, it was Extinction Rebellion, where they all ran around like a bunch of, um, you know, like on the street, like they were like performance art lunatics. Um screaming and yelling and it was it was and then and then holding up trains and, and stopping traffic and you know there's that lovely footage where um the uh, climate extinction people got on top of a train and they were nearly torn apart by the people of London because they're like no you're not going to stop our train you fucking idiots they were dragged off the top it was just beautiful because these people are idiots even if they you know wish to raise the concern about the environment I mean you know you know, look, I want, don't want to go down an issue, but obviously, you know, humanity is doing something to the environment. I don't agree with the climate change narrative, but definitely there are things we can do to clean things up that the right wing can advocate. Um, but, you know, so I have no problem with that discussion. But, you know, I think the whole point you know, of what's been going on is that we are under a kind of um, a Maoist cultural revolution that's taking place within Western civilization. Now, you've really got to think about that, because I remember, I noticed this, whenever you see statues being taken down, I remember there are statues in America, and obviously here there have been attacks and egging statues and stuff. You know, this is the kind of thing, when, I, when that happened, the footage reminded me of things that went on during the Chinese Cultural Revolution, which is a particularly horrid um, uh, uh, um, period of, of Chinese communism. And obviously, um, there is a kind of connection to what's going on with the globalist agenda and China, because obviously the attempt of the global to destroy Western civilization, they need to partner um, who would essentially take over if they were to succeed, which would, I mean, I hope they won't, but if they were to succeed, they need someone there who could technically operate as a kind of world power. And obviously, um, China is that, is that, is that body. And there's all this talk about Russia and Ukraine. And, you know, Russia is not really a problem, um, particularly for Western civilization. Obviously, there is some differences with, between Russia um, and the West, but we can definitely work with Russia because, um, you know, I, I just think, you know, our interests might um, 
combine. And, and the way that the West mistreats Putin and, and you know, and the way Western media attack, you know, it's just ridiculous. But anyway, I don't want to go down that issue either. But, you know, it really does remind me the tactics of the new left. It is like a, a, a cultural uh, revolution, you know, I mean, and for example, on ABC, um, Quando, you know, you've got to get me on that show. I mean, you know, whoever runs that show, get, the, get me on. I want to, I want to red pill the Quando audience and just say, listen, you are listening to just week after week of this nonstop bullshit from the ABC here. The latest show um, featured a, a bunch of feminists from some radical feminist conference where they were basically advocating violence from a new left perspective. And it's, 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 it's like, <laughs> I mean, it's, it was, it's unheard of. I mean, look, it has caused some controversy. Um, and uh, I think even the ABC has had to react to it, but it was, it, it's extraordinary. Um, Deplatforming the uh, the Melbourne Cup Day, it, it, all these antics, um, they all represent a kind of uh, attempt at a kind of cultural revolution. And um, I, whether these people are directly working, I don't think they many of them are directly like, as agents. For, I'm not that big like a Hillary Clinton kind of fool who wants to blame everything on Russia. I don't think they are directly working with China. But in the sense that the, their agenda does promote... Um, this agenda, you know, of um, destroying the kind of uh, major values of um, Western civilization so that, you know, it will essentially uh, collapse, for, at least fall into a major state of destabilization, from which China's um, global influence will at least grow in, in various ways. I believe that's essentially what's going on. And that's what I wanted to talk about um, today. So I think it's a very important issue. Um, and we should be aware of it that, you know, I mean, this is a, it, it is a war that's going on. And, um, you know, it's a war that's being promoted by major um, media outlets like The Age, um, the ABC. This is not some conspiracy theory. Um, you know, um, obviously the globalist run um, monthly and this and, and this is it called the Saturday paper. Uh, this is a terrible, this is atrocious um, publications. Um, so, you know, you need to be aware that we're under attack um, from this quarter with a kind of... Uh, um, neo-cultural revolution and it's quite serious because you know it, it takes over major issues and it's being promoted all across um, our, our media at times and it even makes it on you know you know for example obviously you've, you've seen channel 10 and channel 9 some of the major channels are backing this new agenda now and I think Australians need to be aware that um, you know, this is this is a great a great acts of treachery and you know we need to reject it and we need to reject it calmly and with reason and with a kind of um, Jordan Peterson kind of um, lucidity and um, uh, articulateness. So that's what I wanted to say today. So uh, cheers, ladies and gentlemen, and um, join me on the next report. Thanks.